Hi there guys and welcome to another Train Sim 2019 video. So, uh, my last video was uh, my first look at uh, Train Sim 2019 and I was having some issues. I've done a lot of fiddling and now it runs like a dream. Absolute dream. Um, I've had very, very few issues at all recently. Uh, I've done two streams. And this is my first actual recording session since I've had it installed. Due to various things, I've had like illness in the family and all sorts of that crap. So it's not been, uh, time has been precious, put it that way. But it's Saturday morning, it's quite early Saturday morning. I'm going to get this video out. I streamed this last night. Um, I did a Friday stream because I couldn't do my Wednesday night stream as for the reasons I mentioned earlier. This is um, part, this is a scenario on the East Coast Mainline merge. So Speedy Pete's done it. We do have from London King's Cross to Edinburgh. Um, this run is just a run up to Newark. I have, and I was the first to do a full run from King's Cross to Edinburgh. I did it incredibly drunk <laughs> um, a couple of weeks ago, uh, again on a Friday night stream because I couldn't do the Wednesday night. Uh, what will happen with that is it, it's, it's very rare that I will mix Twitch and YouTube. Um, but uh, a guy called Hassan Muller has put a video together and it's i think it's about 10 minutes and it's time lapsed and there's a bit in the middle there will be a bit a bit of swear and it will probably be my first sweary video uh but it's kind of necessary it was a massive massive achievement for me I, it just it's a stupid thing isn't it it's a simulator uh but it still felt brilliant uh so that will go up probably about the same time as this if not just after it uh will i do a full run on youtube yes i will do but it's it's a lot of effort. It is four and a half hours, and I got through that four and a half hours with the support of of uh, all my Twitch viewers. Really, uh, it to sit and talk for four and a half hours. I will have to script it somehow. PTG did it. Uh, he did it in stages. This would be one straight run, uh, so it won't be that I can sit. I can have a break or anything like that. It will be straight through. So you will get to see more of the route as it goes on. Uh, I'll point out the merge point to you on this as well. Uh, this is, it's, it, it's nearly ready. Uh, the merge, it's nearly ready. It's not perfect yet. Uh, it, I'm sure it will be as good as it can be when it's released. When will it be released? Because I know that'll be a question that all of you guys will want to know soon, is all I know. Um, as a lot of you will know at the moment, DTG's advice is do not use the 64-bit editor. Uh, there is it is causing some issues. I've had uh, an issue where it completely reset the track rules <laughs> on, a, on a route, even though I was just editing a scenario. Um, so it does some quite random things. It's not affecting everybody uh, every time. It is not a consistent issue. But uh, if you ask Chris Horsfield, he was doing the Flying Scotsman run one Sierra eight zero. Is it? Uh, that's a full run from uh, Edinburgh down to King's Cross and he got all the way to Peterborough and then all the AI started disappearing. So you can imagine how frustrating it is. And I think Pete's logic in this is there is very little point of releasing this uh, without scenarios, A, made for it and B, the ability to make them for it. Chris is very lucky with this scenario that it works. Uh, Chris will tell you that himself. This is a Chris Horsfield scenario. It is also using the LNER 91s. Now, I can tell you a little bit of information. These were sent over for packaging up for installation for, for the installer and the batch file today. Today. So it is the 27th of the 10th. So expect the LNER 91 set from Train Sim Designs, BH Reskins and uh, CH Scenarios. Expect them imminently. Imminently. Right, let's get going. Uh, I've got loads more to talk about as we get going as well, so I should have enough to keep us going. We'll wait for the blurb to come up before I... Uh... Why does that seem like it didn't on pause? There we go. Let's start getting my train set up. Oh, I want my mark lights on. I want my headlights on. I want my instrument lights on dim. And I want my master key in. Good morning, driver, and welcome to London King's Cross. This is the 1006 London North Eastern Railway service to Newark Northgate, calling at Stevenage, Peterborough, Grantham, Newark Northgate. Open your doors for your passengers to board and set things up for departure. I've got to make sure I stop properly. <laughs> Last night when I ran this, it was step six break in every station. 
I always miss Stevenage. Always miss Stevenage. Some people say it's my Nebworth. That and uh, Luton Airport Parkway. Let's have a look around. So what have we got? We're in Battle of Britain. I do have a texture error on my VP185s. I do apologise. I should have reinstalled that. I've just remembered. I'm not going to edit the video to go and do that. But just bear with me. You're not going to see too much of it. I don't want to pause it. I want it number eight. So we have Battle of Britain. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then we have the l &R branding on things. So this is 3-0. Um, Lord Mayor of Newcastle. With a white skirt, which I, I much prefer. Whilst I like a black skirt as well. I like a white skirt. I prefer a white skirt. Something a little more... Uh, free about it, I suppose. If you catch my drift. 3-7 there. Also, uh, actually, yes, let me make this point very clear to you now. This contains LB700. A lot of you will go, oh, we haven't got the 700. No, 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 no. I know that, but I do, so I will use it. That's not a... Oh, this also has the new l &ER HSTs in it as well. These are due for release as well, very uh, similar time. Um, I have it, so it's worth me using. It's worth me using. If it makes my drive a bit better... That's fine. I do wish, I do wish LB would release it so you could all have the pleasure of it just as AI. Uh, but unfortunately, that's a no-go. Um, he will not be releasing the 700 at the moment, um, if ever. Uh, that's Albie's choice. He's the creator. Um, I know there's people out there that will go, oh, you've got an exclusive club. You have the 700. Yes, I do. I've had it for ages. It was uh, given to me by Albie when I first ever started streaming. Um, a long, long time ago. Right, we're ready to go because I'm too busy yakking. DRA off into forward. Speed set 15. Power on to about 45. Break off. As we feel the pull. There we go. So yes, I've had the 700 for a long time, um, and so has Chris, and it's not going to be in the release version of this, but for video in sake, it's nice to have it. It's nice to have it. There are various reasons why Albie won't release the 700. Um, at the moment, it's mainly that he's not working on anything train sim related. Uh, that's Super Albs, by the way. Sorry, I shouldn't, shouldn't just be calling him Albie. Uh, Super Albs, he's not working on anything train sim related. <coughs> So if I pull up uh, F1 there, you'll see that Newark is there. 120 miles. No break in the scenario, which is lovely. So what has 64-bit shown us is possible already? It's shown me that a full run of the East Coast Main Line is possible. Um, it has also shown me that this merge route is possible. It has shown me that the West Coast Main Line merge is going to be possible. Um, things I've noticed already... Uh, is that thing that we all said when we had about 64 but everybody went we can fill every side and we can have realistic AI we still get frame rate hits so you will notice at some points in this scenario I will be down to about 20 18 to 20 FPS um, instead of running I mean we're running at 27 now um, but there are going to be points where we're down to sort of 18 I think one of them is not far out at King's Cross when we reach our first 313 so it doesn't eradicate those FPS hits um, what have I noticed compared to my video of my hopes of trains from 2019 tile stutter for me is minimal tiny it has improved it has improved uh, I've run scenarios right up to just about 6 gigs so far uh, usage of RAM so it's pretty impressive it's pretty impressive. It's by no means perfect. You'll hear sound pops. Uh, my issues with Train Sim with, with Train Sim 19 was Train Sim 2019 was um, is is and seems to be. I can't guarantee it is, but seems to be sound related. Um, installing all the AP packs seemed to fix a lot of my issues, uh, but then I still was getting issues with AI passing me. Especially if I was an exterior viewer as an AI passed me, that was causing me to dump. But it was when certain sounds were kicking in. So I'm unsure about what's going to be done with that. How I fixed it, you'll get a video on that. But don't get your hopes up because it was a bit of just mess about with everything until it worked. 
certain trains pop sound pop more than others and by that pop i mean you, it sounds like you've got you ever plugged a guitar into an amplifier and you get the pop it's that noise that you get crackles and pops this isn't bad at all to be fair this is actually pretty all right as you can hear. Some passing sounds of other trains as well you can hear before you actually hear the train. So there's, there's a few little issues sound-wise for me. Now that could be that I use Realtek, Realtek sound card in my built into my motherboard through to you guys have creative and have no issue with it. So there's a lot going on behind the scenes with DTG at the moment, hopefully to fix all these little bugs and errors. I know that the editor is on the list as well to get that sorted. Which is good. Which is good. So I mean, I think what I can say is the majority of people are playing trains in 2019 64-bit without issue. Or with very minimal issues. Or less issues than we had with 2018. Which is, I suppose, what we've got to compare this to. Um, I wasn't expecting it to be flawless by any way, shape or form. Um, so if we just see, look, we're going to start there quite badly. Uh, if we compare this to 2018... Mine is now running better than 2018 was. I've had less dumps. I've had, a, I think, one or two of those access violation dumps since I've fiddled with everything. Um, no more crash to desktops. So all in all, I'm impressed. And thank you, DTG. I got to achieve something that I didn't think was achievable, and that was to drive all the way to Edinburgh. And soon you'll be able to do it too. I think the hope is to have a little, um, <clears throat> a, a, a few scenarios that are able to go out with the route as well. What you've got to remember is that doing AI from Edinburgh all the way down to King's Cross is going to be tough. It's going to be uh, hard graft, really. So if you've got some scenarios in there already, you can just jump right in and play. Um, and I would expect a couple of full runs to be in that list of scenarios upon release. Don't hold me to that. And of course, it's a Chris scenario, so we're doing a bit of yellow chasing. I think that H, there's one of the HSTs is in front of me. But it soon gets out of my way. That's why I'm not accelerating up to 90 yet. I mean, I'm unsure how many AI are in this. Um, but I was doing a scenario the other day that had near nearly 60 AI in it, and it was running fine. I mean, there's a lot in this, <laughs> as you'll see. There we go. This is Bounds Green and Hornsey, which is always going to be a FPS hit for anybody. Come on, you should be ahead enough. That's it. Get to green. Perfect. So if we get green at the next signal, we shall uh, put in a little bit more speed. Just to keep to time. Take it up to 75. And bound screen, again, is always going to be a, a sticky point. So 
So 90, and another 91 inbounders, that's nice. Right, we should comfortably be sitting at those double yellows now. Shouldn't get down to a single yellow, fingers crossed. Although, a couple of the signal sections are a bit short at Bunk Green, aren't they? We'll see. I was late departing uh, when I did this on stream last night, so I only hit a couple of double yellows. I think I was running full greens from about 17 miles outside Stevenage. There we go, he's up to getting up to 100 now, so we can... Uh, Start working our way up, hopefully. Oh, come on, clear for me, clear for me, clear for me. Mm, yeah, just cleared, perfect. So yeah, the LNR branding, <clears throat> it's been a long time coming, but it's here. There's been various things that have held it up, various things that have held it up. But fingers crossed, I reckon you could have it by the end of this week, maybe. I'm not part of it. It's nothing to do with me. I'll just get to show it off. Same as this route, really. I've knocked my throttle down a bit just to slowly accelerate up. Um, this is about where I got greens from, I'm sure, last time. Course, more challenging than I thought. <laughs> Wasn't expecting to have to uh, chase these yellows all the way through. But with crucifixion, what can you say? Let's 
keep me on my toes. So I'll just pop out and we'll have a quick look. I'm hoping this is one of the new... So this is uh, the new HSTs. So this will replace the Super Elves one. Um, this is done by uh, Mr. Klaus um, and is phenomenal. Phenomenal. You can see it will say missing texture. That's because it will have the same as the 91, the um, destination boards. Mr. Klaus, Ash Clark, a few others that have worked on that. So again, it's pretty much the same team. I don't think Brad's had much to do with that. Um, I'm not sure, but it's the same, around about, near enough the same team as the, the Project 91. So these, these, uh, these beauties. Well, that's a bit crap. I didn't see what that was. Shouldn't really be out of the cab, but I'm doing... Running under cautions. It's not the most sensible thing to do, Alan. Looks like a double. I do like the LNR brand. Still not convinced about their service at the minute, but I like the branding. So just to sort of go over these merged routes again, I call them Pete's Follies. And the reason I call them Pete's Follies is because realistically there isn't much of a practical use for them. Um, very, very few people are going to drive from King's Cross to Edinburgh. Very few people are going to drive Glasgow to Euston. You will do it. But it's a day's driving. I mean, it's not... It's not <laughs> it's no no quick thing, no sort of sit down and go, oh, I'm just going to do this quickly. Not going to happen. And if you're going to do it in stages, you might as well do it in stages on the different routes. I mean... I think Pete did them, and he said this before, he did them because it could be done. He wanted to know if it could be done, and he's proved that it can be done. I mean, there's light improvements and things that you could do. I mean, like uh, getting the overhead line exactly the same throughout and upgrade the overhead line. There's vegetation upgrades that can be done. There's all sorts of things that can be done with these mergers. Um, whether we'll see those in that form, I don't know yet. I don't know. These were definitely more can it be done. Oh yeah, there's a cool 313 over here. So there's the Network Rail 313 for the Hartford Loop testing. That's, um, I think that's a BH Reskins one, that.
Ain't she pretty? Speed up just to get my ETA down a little bit, I'm hoping. Well, I'm going to be back on the brakes in sort of two miles-ish. See, there was a tyre load. This route's particularly not, not the best to show off the, the reduced tyre loading, but... Um, yeah, I have noticed a reduced stutter in tile loading on many routes. Always a bit paranoid about stopping at Stevenage. <laughs> Always. It's probably my favourite of the... I mean, For the Fallen I like. I don't think it's as nice as Battle of Britain. 
and the detail that has gone into this one is stunning. I mean, even down to the, the 3D nameplate on it. And of course, oh. The speed record plate. Kind of cheeky the East Coast have put, put their own one on there. One thing I will say is I'm noticing some, some slight differences between what OBS is capturing and what I'm seeing uh, actually on my screen. It looks smoother on my screen than it does in OBS, I won't lie. So if you're noticing some slight flicker or like sort of frame, like missing frames, it's OBS, it's not the actual game. Right, that's us to Peterborough now. There's something incredibly sad. I mean, I'm not getting to do it in this journey because we're stopping at Peterborough. But there is something incredibly satisfying about flying through Peterborough. When I did the full run, I was actually King's Cross to York. Um, so I didn't have to stop at Peterborough and it was lovely.
Good old Hitchin. I was saying last night on stream, even though because we had that yellow 313 in the siding back there, one of the things that is still distinctly lacking in Train Sim is on track plant. Now, I'm not talking from a drivable point of view, because um, driving on track plant I know will be f far from anyone's cup of tea. There'll be the few people out there that would enjoy doing it. And maybe doing some some like stock move with it, with it or something like that would be nice. But uh, just for AI, just to sit in sidings, just to stick on a possession. It's a nice tamper, a nice ballast regulator, a DTS unit, something along those lines. I'm not a rail grinder would be very cool. I'm not particularly talking about some sort. Of, wasn't there a rail grinder actually? Was that for MSTS? I've got a sneaking suspicion there was a rail grinder. Maybe I'm completely making that up. <laughs> Search rail grinder train simulator. One of my videos comes up. In images. Nah, I must be tripping. Must be tripping. I know that Kev Butler, so Aces Trains, he's working on an MPV. But that's still in early, early development. I think it just brings life to the railway to the railways. There is some German stuff. There's like the Robel, but we don't have those in the UK. Uh, there's some uh, road railer cranes and excavators, and we've got the 3D Zug or whatever it is, uh, Kiro Cairo rail crane, but no repaint of it in anything but German at the moment. So nice to see that in Colas or um, Balfour Beatty. It's amazing how many crossings are on the East Coast Main Line. Amazing. Aren't they supposed to be like eradicating all level crossing spot, like some stupid date, like 2020 something? Or <laughs> it's just outrageous. I 
And it's all level crosses on high speed tracks or something. Or line speed above a certain limit or whatever. I haven't heard much about it for a while to be fair, so God knows what's actually going on with it. I've been really bad at keeping up with what's going on in the real world railways. Really bad. I still don't even know all the class numbers, tops, classifications for the new stock. I know some of them, but not all of them. And that's bad. This is a Barford. Nope, not yet. Another one eighty. Some fresh ballast from here on. Now people will go, oh, the track ballast colour changed. Look on the real railway. It does. Constantly. As I said, it is early. In fact, it's very rare I do this. requested shed service because I don't know if I'll stay away. Here we are at Bartford. The bridge we're about to go over is the 428. It's a road I travel down ridiculous amounts of time in my youth and still now. And every time I go past it, I fucking st staring at the bridge, if I can see it, if I'm like, ooh, and then I'll look behind me. It's bad. Do you guys do that? You see a railway bridge and you keep looking at it until it's out of sight, just in case something crosses.
Oh, I'm not getting anything because she can't even get to the fridge. There's a, there's a plumber in fitting a new radiator in my house. the river ooze beside us. And this is the Paxtons, where we are now, in Offords. We used to have a lady friend that lived in Little Paxton. Oh, we can go back to 125 as well. Oh! Big shout out, but not for this video. Sorry. Brain fart there. Brain fart. Dumpington! Have a little toot, Dumpington. I can say that, I lived here for long enough. Only at weekends, mind, but that was bad enough. No, there are, there's some lovely places in and around Huntington. But I lived on the Oxmoor, which is over here. Which was a very cool place to grow up. It was not by any stretch of the imagination as bad as people made out. Oh, 90. Nice. So one of the issues that happened when, when uh, merging this route all together is that Pete described to me like a route is done like paint by numbers. So imagine it was a paint by numbers and you've mixed two together. Now, colour number four on the East Coast Main Line South might be colour number six on the Peterborough York section. So a lot of the ground textures were quite funny I mean all the grass was ballast at one point um, and if you see my full run to Edinburgh you'll see that the procedural flora above, it hovered above the track so there was lots of different things
Try I just thought of something 91 related. 91 119, uh, I think today or yesterday, made its first trip out proper for a, a year maybe since it went bang in the snow. It snowed today. <laughs> it snowed. My mate lives in Thursk and she said that she's got snow. Well, not near Thursk, up that way. And she's already posted pictures of her with, with snow. I don't know if that got moved up to Doncaster yesterday or today. Collington. Do you know, I haven't been up this bit of the East Coast Main Line for ages. Ages and ages. It annoys me that I've never really used the number four camera, it's not my thing. So far, so good time-wise, if I'm honest. Doing all right, Chris will be impressed.
Now this signal last night just cleared for me if I remember rightly. And there's some lovely stuff at Peva as well. Oh, I forgot that was going to be red. Oh, we look good. Must have been running slightly early by the time I got here last night then. Ah, uh, you'll know what I'm like sticking speed limits anyway, don't you? Six six seven eight nine and a uh, Azuma. Stupid name. Oh, wrong button. Ying, 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 ying. Do you love this reskin? What definitely one of my favourites is out there. My whole, the repaint in real life, I love it as well. Now this thing, on the other hand, um, they're growing on me a little bit. They're growing on me a little bit. I don't hate them. I don't hate them. I know there's lots of people out there that will go plastic trains. Probably the same amount of plastic that's on that, if I'm honest with you. They are having their fair share of teething problems at the minute, though, which is to be expected, I suppose. Some of the things are a bit ridiculous, like the anti-climb stuff between the coaches and that sort of jazz. That I'm guessing isn't modelled on this, no. It's none of the, the cabling or anything. I the forklift noise. I've got to go back in the cab because the forklift noise irritates the life out of me. So 
So usually this would be the end of a scenario, being at Peterborough. Oh, just to say about Peterborough, there is talk of updating Peterborough Station to its modern day layout. Uh, that is something that I think is being worked on or is planned to be worked on. And the, the addition of the Leeds section is again being worked on as well. Oh, that 66 is on the move. I mean, 32-bit would have had a woo already doing this. Just Peterborough would have gone, nah, see you later, bye. You've put more than one train at Peterborough. You've actually put some wagons in the yard? No. Put an 800 down and a 180? No. That's what 32-bit would have done. Right to much speed of 25, leaving Peterborough, then up to 125 relatively quickly. Another HST coming in here. This is the one with the XC power car in front. So as you probably will have noticed, LNR are suffering with a shortage of uh, stock all round, really, at the minute. 91s uh, with 90s and uh, I think there was four EMT power cars hiding at the minute for LNR services. Peter Redis shed. Actually, what Backman modelled their uh, single road. Ah, oh, there's the Semex livery one there as well. I didn't notice that yesterday. Uh, that's what Backman modelled their model of a single road service and shed off was the one at Peterborough. I love how Chris is just, even just little wag just wagons. Is it New England Yard, that bit? Right, about another half hour to go. So the route merge will happen. We, you, the the cross point will be at uh, Tallington, 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 Tallington. I think it is.
I've actually got a works night out tonight. I wasn't... Oh, that's why I've had to get this done all in the morning. It's got a busy afternoon. New radiator's gone in. Replumbed the washing machine and everything back. I've got a busy day. I've got a busy day. This is quite relaxing. Ease me into the day. I'm going to do one more scenario after this as well for a video, so... Right, Alan, remember, stopping at Grantham. Stopping at Grantham. Anybody would think I need, like, a reminder on the screen of, like, where I'm stopping. That'd be so handy, wouldn't it? See if that dash worked correctly. It'd be so handy. Pretty sure it's this next corner is the merge point. So same merge point, it's actually a new bit of route. Um, Pete had to create the little bit that fills the gap. Yeah, this is it here. I should have been doing 125. That was silly of me. How late has that put me? 11.19, 11.19.30. Oh, I'm still a bit early, actually. Sorry. Right, so now we're on the uh, Peter York Modern.
it is satisfying. I won't lie. If you're into this sort of thing, which you probably are watching these videos, it's satisfying. Doing a completed run, even doing a completed run on the routes we had was good. Here you'll find some texture errors still. These are still being worked on. Oh, that was BBMF. No, it wasn't BBMF. It was full of fallen. That'd have been a nice screenshot seeing those two pass, wouldn't it? Come on, one, two, three up to Stoke Banks. Push your limit. You know, I did, when I did the uh, full run, I actually did 140 up Stoke Bank. Uh, most of the way. So when it says speeding 299 times, it was right. Five eight.
talking to Grantham, there's a guy on YouTube called Avaset1989 who does loads of railway videos, but he's got loads from the late 80s, early 90s taken from Grantham. Brilliant, brilliant channel. Yeah, see, I've done it again. Too busy on my phone to realise that we're about to hit Grantham. So it's a step six break. To be fair, it is my coffee coming, so it's important. The 180 in the side in there, that's the one that caught fire the other day. Something I want you to keep an eye out for when uh, doing any of Chris's scenarios is that anything that's empty coaching stock has no passengers. So that 180 has no passengers. He has done no passenger bin files for, like, everything. Oh, we're even a bit quick. It's slowing down there. I'm going to get a knock at the door of the shed in a minute, so you are going to see me get out of my seat and go and get a cup of coffee. I do apologise, but I need it. Hello? I'm going to have to pause it and get it. That is what you call service. Oh, what's this doing? I was hoping I'd be in, actually stopped in Grantham by the time the good lady arrived. Yeah, that Avocet 989. A lot of his fight, a lot of his videos are taken from the car park here. It's cool. to Stephen Edge. MT-156 arriving there. 
we call this the 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 one five six with a tan. Much to Super Al's displeasure. Right, Newark. Forty odd miles. One fifteen on the speed set already. Look at that, I'm starting to see some hills. Love the passenger V sounds of the 91 EP. Pretty sure this got all got updated for the VTEC pack. I wonder what hasn't been done for the LNER pack. Hmm. I will let them know about that one. Now the dog decides to start barking. It's just what we need.
Excellent Newark. So you can see, you can see there is a, there is a pleasure in driving this far in train sim. It's an achievement. It makes you feel, makes you go, yeah, I like that. It's not like some stupid sort of like somebody's giving you a bit of XP or something. It, it, you've done it. You've actually driven it. So actually, I've just thought and remembered that 30 is not correct. It's 15. Because we're going into the bay platform. All right then, guys. That's us pulling into Newark. The end of, I suppose, in theory, the longest ever he's ever driven continuously on the East Coast Main Line on YouTube. Now, hey, another little achievement there. I'll take that. Um, please do feel free to like, share, and subscribe. If you're not already subscribed, do subscribe. And if you are already subscribed, hit that notification button because what that means is you'll get notified as soon as my videos are up. Uh, YouTube also like it. Makes my, my life a bit easier and a bit better, so feel free to do that. Do feel free to come and join me on Twitch on a Sunday and Wednesday evening uh, from 7 o'clock onwards for some more adult-themed train sim stuff. So I don't mean adult as in nudity. I mean adult as in uh, a little bit more loose of my tongue and I'm sitting having a drink. So you join me for a drink, really. It's like a social club with trains involved. It's kind of the way to do it. The Facebook group as well is always, always, always a cool place to be. I am still amazed at the level of people I have in that group. From people are just starting out and train sim to some of the most well-known names in Train Simulator. It's a phenomenal place with a phenomenal amount of knowledge as well. It's as friendly as I can keep it. it. does have its moments, so do be warned. Head over to Facebook. Link's in the description below. And can I just say a massive, massive thank you to Speedy Pete and Chris Horsfield for the scenario and the route. Because without them, this wouldn't be happening. And like I say a million times, without you guys, without the community, this sort of thing wouldn't be happening. So it is for all of us. It's in all of our interests. To keep this sort of thing going. Because when you guys can get a chance to do this yourselves, you'll see how actual enjoyable it is driving. Even just that little bit further than Peterborough. It's massively, massively enjoyable. Alright then guys, once again thanks ever so much for joining me. And I will catch you again next time. All the best.